11 a dog attack traumatizing neighbors in Normal Heights, a Cocker Spaniel was bit by a pit bull. The owner tells 10 News her pit bull was abused before they rescued him. Our 10 News reporter Kessie Carlisle says the owner of the Cocker Spaniel is devastated, saying the attack changed her dog's disposition. And this is the alley where the dog attack happened, causing both owners nightmares and a hefty vet bill. Let's do this. Maggie is everything to Barbara. We used to do half a block. Her companion for the past 14 years, and on their daily walk, they ran into a neighbor with a pit bull named Chevy. He's been like that. Stephanie's brother-in-law owned Chevy for three years. I noticed he had been bleeding, and they again said that they would take him to the vet, they are going to take care of it, but they hadn't done anything for him. I mean, he just, he slept outside, he had no shelter. She said they had to rescue him. On June 23rd, Maggie was the one in need of saving. Chevy bit down on Maggie's neck and wouldn't let go. And she's looking at me with her cataract eyes and uh, help me, mommy, help me. I feel so bad for both of them. Like I saw the fear in the other dog's eyes and I feel so horrible. I hate it, but we were hitting him on the head and on his nose. Um, I feel so bad. He didn't want me to touch him. He like flinched from me after that. Maggie got staples, stitches, and a vet Hopefully bill totaling about $1,600. Barbara most concerned about her new demeanor. She's scared of everything. Barking at dogs who pass by and hesitant when the leash comes out. Be nice to Maggie. She's been through a lot, honey. Stephanie said they're in a financial bind, but say they take full responsibility. It's the least I can do is pay the bill. I would do more if I could. I don't know what else I could do, though. Barbara thankful her Maggie is still here. I turned 78 yesterday. Oh, I've got it taken her yesterday. And a neighbor of Barbara set up this GoFundMe page, garnering more than $800 to pay for her vet bills. And Stephanie and her husband say they'll pay the difference. Barbara says it's not enough. Reporting in Normal Heights, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News. We did not use Stephanie's real name in this story as she is facing backlash from the community. She does say that they walk Chevy late at night with the muzzle now to keep everybody safe.